Hey, Smart Pack fans. I'm Smart Packer Sarah here with Smart Packer Amanda. Hi. In my own kitchen. So, welcome to my house. We are here and very excited to walk you guys through what we're calling Smart Pack's Super Easy Holiday Horse Treats Recipe. We know you guys love to spoil your horses just as much as we do. And at Smart Pack, we're all about healthy horses and happy riders at the core of everything we do. And so mm -hmm. it was a, uh, we thought it would be a great opportunity to put together um, some wholesome ingredients and make a super easy recipe that we're going to walk you through today so that you can make them for your own horses. So do we need to start, do we start with the mixing? Do we start with the oven? Where do you, where should we start um, things? We can preheat the oven to 375. Kay. Terrific. Um, and while you're doing that, that I will I start do. mixing some of the ingredients. So we'll start with um, two cups of whole wheat flour. And we'll just, yeah. All right. Two cups of rolled oats or whatever oatmeal you have on hand. One cup of shredded carrots. Delicious, wholesome, mm -hmm. whole food ingredients. So good for your horse. Two thirds cups of molasses. This is probably Cody's favorite part. And then the last ingredient is one whole banana. The most appetizing. Which looks delicious. <laughs> now that we have all the ingredients, we're just gonna take a few minutes to mix them up. Um, it might take a little bit of time to get all of the ingredients moist and sticking together. Who doesn't love carrots and molasses with sticky oats? And right. whole wheat flour is so good for you. It's so healthy and so delicious. Probably not gluten free though. <laughs> not <laughs> Definitely not gluten free. <laughs> not something I'm concerned about, but you know, I mean if you're one of those people who likes to eat the cookie dough, mm. you just be forewarned. Probably gluten filled. Yes, for sure. So this is looking pretty well mixed now. I think it's safe that um, we can use our hands. Um, so what I'm going to do next is grab a big kind of scoop of it. After yep, it with your hands. I like it. Yeah, so that's what you have to do with cookie dough. Um, I'm going to move the bowl to the side a little bit here, and then I'm just going to mix in any of that um, residue from the the um, flour. Because you don't want any of it to be dry when it goes in the oven. Exactly. Um, so I kind of just started out by patting it down with my hands and then you can take a rolling pin or a tumbler and just kind of roll it out a little bit more. Well, we don't bake a lot in this house so <laughs> when she asked if I had a rolling pin I just stared blankly and <laughs> she said a glass will also work. Yep. And then we can cut out our cookies. So we have a bunch of different cookie cutters. We'll start with a Christmas tree. For, you know, holiday themed. That's right. And then I kind of just peel a little bit away. And then plop it down. And then we'll do a candy cane. And then I just kind of peel away. It's like Play-Doh. You just mash what it you didn't use of. and start over. That's right. Yep. Sometimes this happens. It's okay. <laughs> it's part of the process. It is part of the process. Um, and then we have to roll it out again. So at the end when you don't have enough to roll out anymore and make your shapes, um, you can just make them into little balls. And then we have two cookie sheets. It's perfect. Of cookies. Yes. yes, we're ready. So now it's time for yes. them to go in the oven. All right, I'll open it for you. Thank you so much. We ended up with 15, which is we awesome. Um, but you were saying while they were in the oven, if we had done them a little bit thinner, you could probably get more out of them. Yep. And then obviously if you're doing more of the little ones, you're going to get a lot more. So yeah. you can kind of play it by ear and figure out how thick you want them, how big your shapes are, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have some really small horses and then we have really big horseshoes. So it depends on your cookie cutters and how thick you roll it. But we have 15, which is great. We can decorate them pretty easily. Decorating is the funnest part. It is. I'm it's very so excited. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with these balls um, that we used sort of at the end. These are super easy. You just take these little um, mints and you can press them in. Oh, I feel like even I can do this. And then just kind of putting these little starlight mints into the balls that we baked. Cody will sincerely appreciate these ones. Yeah, and this is probably the easiest version that you could do, so. That's why I'm helping. <laughs> so we got those done. Um, so the next thing we can do is decorate some of the other cookies that we cut out. Um, for one of the toppings, I use honey to stick on some of these decorations, very healthy decorations. Mm -hmm. So we have some um, 
dried banana, and we broke them up a little bit so that they're little pieces. We have split peas for the green coloring. We have raisins for um, maybe the eyes of the gingerbread man. We have um, cranberries for um, candy canes. We have coconut flakes and chia seeds. You forgot one. And we have crushed mint. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, so we can play with that as well. Um, so I'm going to start out by, I'll do a Christmas tree first. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of honey on the tree and use a spoon to spread it out. I thought we were done with the sticky part after I the know. molasses was gone, but now I see. Nope. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some of these split peas and just kind of sprinkle them on the tree. I wouldn't have thought, like, when I was thinking of, like, oh, well, well Cody want to eat, that right. he would want to eat split peas, but he loved the trees, loved them. That's great. Yeah, they're very healthy, and they bring a nice green color to the tree. And then trees need decorations, right? Yeah, so they do. we're going to actually um, cut up some of the cranberries a little bit smaller and make little... Ornaments. Oh, the red is super cute. Um, and then we can also sprinkle some of the coconut for maybe some snow oh. or lights, whatever, however you interpret it. And then we can also do a little bit of chia seed for um, the trunk. You're really getting in with the detail. I That's like right. it. And so there is the first Christmas tree. And now we're gonna do a star. So yes. we're gonna use some peanut butter. The stars have my favorite flavor combination. <gasps> Mine too. Peanut butter and banana is like the best combo ever. It's hard to beat. Oh, it really is. So just spread some delicious peanut butter. Yeah, so we have all these little banana chips that Sarah so kindly broke up for me. And you just kind of piece them together to make your star. Um, so finding shapes that work well in certain areas. So you want long and pointy for the tips. Um, okay, so this guy's in pretty good shape, I think. Nailed so that's it. the star. So there's two ways you can do a candy cane. Um, one way would be to use the cranberry and the coconut, so I'll start with that. All right, you wanna do that one and I'll do the crushed mints on yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna sprinkle the coconut flakes. Um, Making your stripes. In between the, the cranberries. That one looks super cute. I like the the striped feel. Yeah, this one is one of my favorites, I think. All right, so we have our candy canes, the beautiful crushed starlight peppermint, yep. and then the stripes. Do you want to do the horseshoe? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Chia seed is one of the key ingredients in the uh, guilt-free peppermint patty. Smart cookie flavors. Yum. The uh, horseshoe with the chia seeds on it looks like Cody after he's gotten a bath and then walks in like a stone dust oh, arena. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all the stone dust is stuck to the bottom of his shoes. Okay, so Gingerbread Man's getting a coat of peanut butter. And then I'm going to do raisins for his eyes and buttons. All right, really? now we have a cute little Gingerbread Man. Oh, look at his smile. Yeah, he's got a cute little smile made out of raisins this horse head. I'll start with a layer of peanut butter. I'll sprinkle some mane on there. Oh my god, he's adorable. So that's it. Yeah. We are all set. They're beautiful, they're healthy, and the horses are going to love them. So we hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching the video. We hope your horses enjoy the treats. Definitely make videos of you either making the treats or feeding them to your horses. We mm -hmm. love to watch videos of your horses. Absolutely. And uh, if you guys tag us in anything that you post, you could get featured on our social media channels like our Facebook or our mm -hmm. Instagram. So definitely upload those boomerangs of your horse eating the treats strongly encouraged yes, i have one of cody yes. they're really good <laughs> please do so we will uh take these off to the barn feed them to the horses but as always thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can see what we cook up next yeah oh, you see Can't what wait. i did there <laughs> have a great ride bye